maybe like going to a baby shower, a wedding, some kind of event. It's absolutely really, really pretty. Would I go on vacation with this wig? No, I would not go on vacation with this wig. My channel i'm your girl miss chrissy christina with a k hey christina with a k hey 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 girl hey boy how you doing how you feeling wigs make me feel amazing <laughs> Wow. So today I'm bringing you guys a wig that I bought a while ago. This wig is from the Butter Lace collection. This is the Butter Lace Unit 15. So when I reviewed Butter Lace 17, I did ask you guys if you wanted to see 14, 15, and 16. I said I would put it all in one video, but um, I'm tired. <laughs> so today I am talking about Butter Lace 15. I have the color number two. Before we get started, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for me. Hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get started. collection we are on number i don't know what number are we on sensational so this is 15 this wig has been sold out for a while i know i'm going a little bit backwards because i did review butter lace 17 and this is 15 but so i think we stopped at 17 i don't know y'all comment below let me know if we're just at 17 at this point who knows as i'm filming we might have another one <laughs> So this is 15. Let me give you a few specs. If you don't know, you should know if you wear wigs, but if you don't, if you're pretty new to wigs, this is from the Butter Lace Collection from Sensational. Sensational is a synthetic wig company. They are the makers of the famous What Lace Collection that everybody kind of fell in love with when it comes to synthetic wigs. So this is a synthetic wig. The thing that we love so much about What Lace is that it gave us a hairline effect. We weren't looking wiggy. We weren't looking like we had a wig on. So now we have butter lace. I'm explaining to the people that don't know. If you know this part, you could go ahead and skip. There's some people that are new here, okay? So respect the people that don't know. This is a more affordable option 
from that what lace collection this is butter lace so as you guys see we are giving hairline frontal effect without a frontal you're gonna just get this defined middle lace part right here you are gonna get some lace in the front and you're gonna get like a hairline effect it says it's HD lace I'll talk about that in two seconds and then you're kind of going to get a little bit of lace like about inches of lace going back you're not going to get a whole lot of lace as you can see I cannot part this wig it's all tracks right here so you're just getting this little bit of frontal effect as you guys saw if you if you didn't skip the part that I showed you I did go in and I did choose to pluck the front a little bit because I knew I wanted this wig to be melted the hairline is HD it says it's a virtually undetectable lace it says that it is does it say pre-plucked it does say pre-plucked I think you know what I got a theory I think what they're trying to say is that it's thinner and it's not as dense maybe that's what they're saying because the knots are a little bit smaller with these hairlines but the issue is that it's so straight across that it's going to look like a wig so that's why I chose to go in and kind of pluck some to jag it a little bit and I also did kind of choose to go in and pluck more so I'm getting more of a hairline effect I don't think it's pre plucked but that's just my opinion but I think you can absolutely get away with not plucking if you're not comfortable with that because the way this wig falls it's a middle part wig so you'll be covered up so now if you want to go up and put her up and kind of get wearing the hair up like oh that's cute y'all if you want to wear it up like that I do recommend maybe you do pluck some the good part about synthetic wigs is that you get to play you get to experiment learn how to deal with a human hair wig that's that's my interpretation of a synthetic wig i know plucking it kind of is pointless and it's like why would you go through all of that honestly to get the look you kind of want to maximize it and and get it to look as natural as possible so that's why i chose to go ahead and pluck it and that's why some people do choose to go ahead and pluck it so it does look like a frontal and it does look like a human hair wig also because this is synthetic the magic word of the day what's the word of the day synthetic. keep in mind that this is a wavy nice pattern but you're not going to be able to get back this pattern if you brush her out it comes with these nice beautiful curls these nice waves it's absolutely beautiful let me show you guys how long it's looking it's really really long it's kind of layered right here and then it goes into this length all right here and it's really long y'all let me show you the back so it's super duper long now like I said it's synthetic keep in mind what you pay for you paid for a synthetic wig so when it starts to get tangly and it starts to get you know acting like synthetic wigs you can't brush it out spray it with water and get it back looking like this <laughs> keep that in mind it's a synthetic wig so therefore I did choose to not manipulate these curls that much because I know with synthetic wigs as you play with it as you style it a little bit as you flip it over a little bit it's gonna start to fluff out it's gonna start to look more natural it's absolutely going to come more to life and look more like a human hair wig the more it's kind of played in but I don't like to really play in my curls like that depending on the pattern so I kind of left the curls in the back here because I know as I'm moving it it's gonna fluff out more does that make sense I hope that made sense the front when I was plucking it I did have to go in and comb the front and you see how I'm already losing some of the the curl and it's getting frizzy and all of that this is what will happen if you brush this wig out so Keep in mind what you pay for. I did go in with the water and a synthetic wig spray, but all of that won't bring this wig back to life. So this is not a wet and wavy wig. This is a look wig. I do think this wig is really nice if you have an event, maybe like going to a baby shower, a wedding, some kind of event. It's absolutely really, really pretty. Would I go on vacation with this wig? No, I would not go on vacation with this wig because I don't think it's going to last the whole vacation because it's going to start to get tangly. It's already kind of tangly on me I like to be able to brush out shampoo condition and bring the wig back to life and I don't feel like you can do that with this wig but to each his own do what you feel like you need to do as far as the cap goes the cap is okay I do wish the cap was a little bit bigger it's kind of just right I wish it was a little bit more here 
but it kind of is just right it's not too big it's not too small but it's just right i wish it had a little bit more to play with how long do i think this wig is gonna last i think this wig pretty much depends on you and how you choose to care for this wig hey friends sorry to mess up the video real quick but i wanted to jump in because i have been wearing this wig for two days straight and i really like it i like the fact that it's kind of fluffing out and looking a little bit more natural this wig does shed it's also this is what i was talking about about it's starting to look a little bit more worn i don't think you're gonna get much wears out of this after you kind of wear it if you wear it and then take it off maybe that day if you keep this wig glued on you'll probably get like a week out of it but that's just my opinion but i do like how natural it's starting to look i do like the fact that it's fluffing out more and it's really pretty i just wanted y'all to see what it's looking like after it's being worn it's actually looking more natural so y'all go back to the video sorry bye I also this time did go in with my lace spray. This lace spray will hold your wig down and melt you down. I did not go in and tint this lace because I find that mixing the two together sometimes gets a little cakey. And recently I've just been going in melting the lace and then going in with powder after. And I feel like that works too. Like I'm still getting hairline effect. You know, I'm not having any issues with that. So to each his own, if you want to spray the lace first or if you want to do powder, I think either way will work. Now, I did tell y'all that I will talk about the HD lace later. What I mean by that is that this lace, it says HD lace on synthetic wigs, you know, it's kind of a touchy thing, but the fact that it's so thin, it does melt into your skin. So I could see why they would say HD lace, but I do think you need to kind of melt it and then kind of manipulate it with powder or lace tint spray to kind of get it to match up to your own. It's nighttime right now, so... I'm seeing a slight cast on camera. I don't know. But the way you can get away with fixing that is going with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Just dab the front like that. See? And that works too. So do whatever you feel like you need to do to kind of get it to match up. I do think this is very pretty. The texture feels really good. It's really soft. This one compared to Butter Lace 3, Butter Lace 3 was a tangled mess. I think those curls were a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit smaller. This one absolutely will tangle on you and start to fray and, and do all of that. But she's a look, y'all. She's very pretty. I think this is more like, to me, it's more like, like I said, it's an event wig. It's like a photo shoot wig or an event wig or something like that. I wouldn't consider this wig for everyday use or long-term use. Like, this is not it. But it's only $38, so I do like the fact that this is a more affordable option for somebody kind of looking for this look, but, you know, can't afford a human hair look. Let me know what you think about this wig. Drop me a comment, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bye! Love.